Welcome everyone for another shower thought. All right, this one for you, my friend, Sam. Mm -hmm. How will humans as a species go extinct? How are we going to go extinct? Mm -hmm. We're racing towards it at a very, very fast rate, I reckon. I don't reckon we got too long left. I reckon there's either there's, there's two ways. Okay. Either something else comes and destroys us. And, uh, are we talking destroying the earth or destroying the human species? Species. Okay. Yeah, something else comes and destroys us, wipes us out, says, yeah, look at these little blubbery little lumps of flesh, you know, <laughs> grazing around, eating food and stuff. Wipe them out. We're all gone. You know, mine all of our planet for resources. That's you know, potential number one. Other way, number two, is something here destroys it. We destroy ourselves. I reckon that is for sure. Like, if, if it's running a race between someone else coming and destroying us and us destroying ourselves, someone else coming to destroy us has no chance of beating us. Like, I reckon, like, the way that kind of, you know, climate change, pollution, global warming and everything's going, bang. See you later, humans. We'll do it to ourselves. We'll do it to ourselves. Which, which of, from doing it to ourselves, what do you think will be the most likely thing to happen? Like for most me, thing. I think it's potentially, we, we will all nuke ourselves to a point where the world is just full of radiation and you can't, nothing can really grow and everyone's yeah. got horrible poisoning. And it's, it's not livable anymore. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I feel like we'll always be able to kind of invent some type of technology to, to get around that. I reckon though, like greediness will, will probably beat that. I reckon like our, our mining of all like the natural resources and just our kind of take, 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 take mentality. I think that'll eventually we'll get to a point and be like, Oh, Oh shit. Look at everything we've done. We can't undo that. And then, you know, we're running out of, you know, at the moment we have far too much food. It was such a surplus of food. You know, imagine if, if we if we took away half of that, you know, we'd probably still be able to survive, but the world will go crazy. We're crawling all over each other. It'll just be, you know, little bar fights at every little little Mac, McDonald's store. It turned into anarchy. Would I remember I saw a stat recently. It was saying that since humans have been around, two thirds of animals have gotten extinct or something like that. Some some absurd number like that. So I guess we're we're probably next on that chopping block. <laughs> to right. Reckon. And I guess another big one I guess we have to consider now while we are in COVID is, you know, illness. Like imagine if we just get this contagion that just spreads equally as fast as what COVID did, but it had the 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 mortality rates of something like, I don't know, the the bubonic plague or, you know, like the black mm. plague, something like that. Like we were, essentially, we were pretty lucky that this one wasn't, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, oh, got it. See you later, mate. Like there's, there's, there's the trash bag over there. Like this one was, has been pretty fightable. Yeah. And, you know, survival rates are pretty good. Like, can you imagine if something came through that was more violent and even more catchable? Like imagine 33% of the population just going. I don't think we'd be able to pick up the pieces and, and regather from that. No way. I was actually thinking about this the other day, thinking, wow, this coronavirus is horrible, but it could have been so much worse. Mm, yeah. And like, we're all whinging about, you know, of course, you know, losing jobs is terrible, but in the, in the big scheme of things, you'll bounce back. You'll probably get another job. Like you'll, you'll, you'll pick up and carry on. I mean, something coming through with more, you know, power and ferocity in terms of like a spreadable virus i mean you know all of a sudden like a zombie apocalypse isn't that unimaginable like yeah. something just coming through sending us crazy and that's it we're all over do you think we will go extinct though or by the time things really start to get shit we'll already be able to say move to mars or venus or wherever they're looking that's a tough question. Tough question that I don't have an answer for. I guess I could just speculate. Speculate. Uh, I guess well, this is all a bit of speculation, but I personally think that we won't make it. 
I think there's too much that can go wrong. Like we've seen how much craziness there can be in the world and it's only getting crazier. It's not getting tamer. <laughs> like the, the, the further we seem to be alive for the more kind of insane characters seem to be coming in charge of everything. Like the, the amount of like natural disasters is just skyrocketing. Like the intensity is just building up. Who knows what we've got next on the horizon? Like you, you, you couldn't have imagined that 2020 was going to roll this way. No one could have picked it. Who's to yeah. say that 2021 is going to be any better? Like, who knows? This is just the next step. This is just what all, all the rest of the years are like. It's just kind of bouncing between you know, disasters and, and pandemics and uh, you know, more global problems. Now, no one really knows. But I don't know, the, the trend seems to be going straight up towards more disaster. I think we all, gotta, we all got to live like it's our last year. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just make the most of us while we're here, really. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, there's a lot of things. Hey, climate change is going to be really interesting because, yeah, those rising sea levels. I used to think, oh, you know, rising sea levels, what is that? But, mm -hmm. like, after doing quite a bit of research onto, like, some island nations that are pretty much sinking, and even Pakistan, like, every year it loses so much land space and then people are just getting more pushed into these like condensed areas. And it's just, yeah, it's just creating, mm. creating chaos. So yep. climate change is also another big dragon. It's climate change is one of those areas where I know like little snippets of information, but not enough to kind of base a whole argument behind it. Like I can throw some, you know, run f some fun random facts at you, but that would probably be about it. I don't think I could have like a whole, argument with someone who opposed it because they probably wipe me out in terms of knowledge. But I think it's, it's something that if everyone became a little bit more aware to it mm. then maybe we could kind of stem the flow, but I don't know. I just don't, I personally don't think that's very possible. No, man. I'm just I hoping for a, a nice and not a bad fire season this year. Cause for those who, who didn't don't live in Australia last year was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. I can, it's, it's hard to think that at the beginning of 2020, we had the fires. Like that was a problem in, to, in this year, Yeah. but it's been almost overshadowed by everything else. Like it's, it's so easy to forget that, you know, we had Australia was literally on fire at the beginning of the year. Like some, some of those satellite images are amazing in terms of seeing all the fires spread throughout everywhere. But, you know, it, it very quickly got, you know, as, as soon as that kind of problem was solved, yeah, there you go, throw it away. We've got a new crisis to deal with. Yeah. Man, I, I don't know if it was solved. They kind of like, of course they fought really hard, but it just kind of came to the end of the season where it just sort of segued mm -hmm. over. But yeah, it's, it's, that's, I think that's, that's what I've always noticed with like humans, I guess. And maybe it's one of our most endearing factors is that, you know, we can get knocked back get devastated but we just keep going forward mm. you see that in civilizations get destroyed and then rebuilt etc but yeah it's just it's crazy to think that the fires was just beginning this year like we couldn't see the sky it was dark red smoke really everywhere everywhere like i remember i remember like in, in the beginning of this year i was i was looking after a few clients who had actually been like fully affected by the fires. I, I, it was kind of, it was kind of, you know, you always see these things on the news and you always hear about the terrible impacts, but I think this is probably one of the first disasters that I actually had. I kind of got to look after these people that had troubles from them. And it mm. was just, it was so awful to hear some of these things. Like looking after people who would, who were, who were coming through your town, you know, because they wanted to be there because they'd lost everything. And then you know, this is where their, their family was situated. So that's the one place they could only really come, you know, it, the, all, the, all their livelihood would have been lost. And all of a sudden, you know, that, yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy to think about. And that was probably the first one that actually kind of struck home a little bit because there was all of a sudden, there was like, man, that, this is a person my age. This could have been me who'd lost mm -hmm. everything. And then, yeah, it hits home a little bit. Yeah, with, with these sort of things, it's always once 
once the perspective changes and you see someone that could be you, that's when it really hits home that it could mm-hmm. be you. Yeah. And they're, they're never very nice stories to hear. No. Well, I guess we finished this one a bit of a, of an, on a bit of a lower note, didn't we? <laughs> Humans will go but extinct, but we will keep we will. on partying till the end. <laughs> Keep on pushing. We'll keep find on the pushing. boundaries. We'll, we'll, we'll do our damn best. <laughs> it's just, you know, toppling structures that are already in place that, you know, sh- show so much greed and, and lust for power. I don't know if that's, if that's overcomable, but maybe if we all work together, who knows? Pretty cool. If we all work but, together. We can do it. Yeah. All right. Mate. Well, thanks, mate. It's a pleasure.